بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين As mentioned in the introduction video of this series, this series is made to help you build a relation with the Qur'an through both understanding and memorization. In each video, we will go over the English translation of the verses of one quarter. We will go over some of the word roots, especially the most common word roots in Arabic and their meanings. And we will go through some of the reflections and lessons learned from the verses. We will also try to help you memorize by building a visual memory of the pages, going through some of the unique verses and the similarities which you will find in the PDF file in the link in the description below. In this video, we will go over the fourth quarter of the Qur'an, Al-Rub'a Al-Rabi'a, Thalathat Arba' Al-Hizb Wahid, which starts with A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem وَإِذْ اسْتَسْقَى مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ فَقُلْنَا اضْرِبْ بِعَصَاكَ الْحَجَرِ Okay, so this roba is uh, three pages. The first one starts here on the right-hand side of the Mus'haf. Then we have the second page here. And then this is the third page. It ends here. So we have about one-third of the page. Uh, this is the beginning of the next roba, inshallah. So let's read the English translation. And recall when Musa prayed for water for his people. So we said, Strike with your staff the stone, and there gushed forth from it twelve springs, and every people, that is, tribe, knew its watering place. Eat and drink from the provision of Allah, and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. Okay, so let's look at some of the word roots here. So the word saqaya is to give water. And if you add alif sin ta to the beginning of any word in Arabic, it usually means to ask for that thing. So istasqa means to ask for water or to pray for water. Musa, that's the Prophet Musa alayhi salam, liqawmi. So learn the word qawm because this will be repeated a lot in the Quran. It means people. Faqulna, so we said, Idrib laraba means to strike. Bi'asaka with your staff al hajar stone. Fam fajarat minhu ithnata ashrata. This means twelve. So ithnata that's two and ashra ashra that's ten. Aina qada alima so that's to know. Kullu unasin that's people. Mashrabahum shariba is to drink. So mashrab is the uh, place of drinking, so it's watering place. Kulu, that's from akala, and shrabu, that's also from shariba, so drink. Mir rizqi, so rizq is provision, as we've mentioned before. Wala ta'athaw fil ardi mufsidin, so mufsidin, that comes from fasada, and this means to corrupt. Uh, uh, that's fasada, and mufsidin means uh, to s people spreading corruption. And recall when you said, O oh Musa, we can never endure one kind of food. So call upon your Lord to bring forth for us from the earth its green herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentils and its onions. Musa said, Would you exchange what is better for what is less? Go into any settlement, and indeed you will have what you have asked. So they asked, they wanted what the earth grows. And so Musa was saying, do you want to give up men and salwa, which is heavenly food, for earthly food? وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى This is the second time in Surah Al-Baqarah that this is mentioned, and this is the second time out of two. وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى Remember the first one was, وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى لَن نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى نَرَى اللَّهَ جَهْرًا so قُلْتُ means you said, يَا yeah, yeah, means O, oh. Musa لَن نَصْبِرْ Sabara is to be patient. Ta'am, that's food. Wahid, that's one. From Wahada. Fadu'u lana. So da'wa is to call. Fadu'u, so call. Lana rabbaka, your Lord. Yukhrij comes from kharaja, means to uh, bring forth, to bring out. Mimma tumbitu al-ardu. Ard is the earth. Those are the uh, uh, herbs and cucumbers, lentils, garlic, onions that are mentioned here. Do you, are you exchanging? Khayr is better, means better. 
and adena means less or lower. Ihbitu Misran, so habata, remember this, means to go down. And here Misran means uh, any settlement, just any land. Any, so those are those things can be found in any land. فَإِنَّ لَكُمْ مَا سَأَلْتُمْ سَأَلَ means to ask. Okay. And they were covered with humiliation and poverty and returned with anger from Allah upon them. That was because they repeatedly disbelieved in the signs of Allah and killed the prophets without right. That was because they disobeyed and were habitually transgressing. So why did the wrath of Allah fall upon these people? For these reasons that are mentioned here especially for habitually transgressing the boundaries set by Allah in pursuit of their desires. Why is this mentioned in the Qur'an? The Qur'an talks about the children of Israel, the chosen people, so that we Muslims would learn a lesson. We always pride ourselves because we are the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, which we should, of course, be grateful for. But if we habitually transgress the boundaries of Allah in pursuit of our desires, we will be deserving of His wrath. We need to always evaluate the direction of our lives and not just think, oh, we're Muslims, we will go to paradise. Well, Buribat, so again, that's from Laraba. And here it means, it means that they were covered with humiliation and poverty. So Laraba sometimes means covered. Alayhimu dhilla, that's from Dalala, means humiliation. Maskana wa ba'u bi ghadab, so ghadab means wrath. Min Allah, ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يَكْفُرُونَ That comes from kafara. بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ وَيَقْتُلُونَ That's from qatala. النَّبِيِّينَ نَبَيَا That also means prophet. بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ حَقَقَ That's truth. ذَلِكَ بِمَا عَصَوْ عَصَيَا is to disobey. وَكَانُوا يَعْتَدُونَ This means transgressing. عَدَيَا That's the word root. So here... Uh, there is a unique a unique um, mentioning here, which is بِغَيْرِ الحق. So you will see وَيَقْتُلُونَ النَّبِيِّينَ بِغَيْرِ حق in other surahs in the Qur'an. But here بِغَيْرِ الحق, the only uh, time that Alif Lam is mentioned is here in Surah Al-Baqarah. And you will also see sometimes النَّبِيِّينَ and sometimes الْأَنْبِيَاءَ. So here it's النَّبِيِّينَ, so learn that. Okay, for the second page, Indeed, those who believed and those who were Jews or Christians or Sabians before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu those among them who believed in Allah in the last day and did righteousness will have their reward with their Lord, and no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. Okay, inna ladina amanu, that's from amana, wa ladina hadu, comes from uh, Yahud, means Jews, wa nasara, that those are Christians, or Sabi'een, Sabians, men amana, from amana, that's to believe, wal yawmil akhir wa amila, to do, saliha, that comes from salaha, salaha is, means good, so to do righteous deeds, falahum ajuruhum, ajara, that's the reward, inda rabbihim, their lord, rabbava, wala khawfun, there's no fear, alayhim wala hum yahzanun, that comes from hazana, it means to grieve. So this is a general invitation. It is important to understand that faith and good deeds are what will save a person from fear and grief. Simply identifying with a group or being affiliated with a group is not enough. It has to come with faith and righteous deeds. Okay, so here we can see that um, you will see إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَمَنُوا وَالَّذِينَ هَادُوا was repeated in other surahs in the Qur'an. But when Nasara was Sabi'in, this is the only time where an Nasara comes before a Sabi'in. Uh, and you will see that in the PDF file. And then, Inna Ladina Amanu, this is mentioned uh, three times in Surah Al Baqarah, and this is the first time of these three. وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِثَاقَكُمْ, this is the first mentioning of four in Surah Al Baqarah. And these, uh, these verses that starts with وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِثَاقَ so they, those are called the verses of the covenants, ayat al-mawathiq. So there are four of them in Surah Al-Baqarah. And this is the first one of, of these four. And you'll see them um, in the PDF file, inshallah. And recall when we took your covenant, O children of Israel, to abide by the Torah, and we raised over you the mount, saying, 
Take what we have given you with determination and remember what is in it, that perhaps you may become righteous. So we took your covenant, that's mithaq, means covenant, comes from wathaqa, and akhadna, that comes from akhadha, means to take, rafa'na, to raise, falqakum, over you, al-tur, so that's the name of the mount, khudu ma atainakum, take, what we have given you, atayna, atayna, that's the word with ataya, biquwa, with determination, wadhkuru, dhakara, to remember, so remember, uh, when you say dhikr of Allah, that's remembrance of Allah. مَا فِيهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may become righteous. That's taqwa, it comes from taqwa. Then you turned away after that, and if not for the favor of Allah upon you and His mercy, you would have been among the losers. ثُمَّ تَوَلَّيْتُمْ Means you turned away. That's from walaya. مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ فَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ Fadl is a uh, favor. Alaykum wa rahmatu. That's from rahima, means mercy. Lakuntum min al khasirin. Comes from khasira, it means losers. And you had already known about those who transgressed among you concerning the Sabbath. And we said to them, Be apes despised. So here Allah is going to tell us about the story of the people of the Sabbath. So those were a group of the children of Israel. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُمْ means, عَلِمَ means to know الَّذِينَ اَعْتَدَوْ That's from عَدَيَ again means transgress مِنْكُمْ فِي السَّبِتْ Sabbath is Sabbath فَقُلْنَا لَهُمْ We said to them Be apes uh, despised And we made it a deterrent punishment for those who were present and those who succeeded them and a lesson for those who fear Allah فَجَعَلْنَاهَا We have made it نَكَالًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهَا means those who were present, those who were witnessing this, وَمَا خَلْفَهَا Those who came after after that, خَلَفَ means to succeed or come afterwards, وَمَا وَعِضَ That's from وَعَضَ means a lesson, لِلْمُتَّقِينَ So those are the who fear Allah or the righteous people. So uh, those people, they were not allowed to fish on Saturdays. So this group of people would put their net on Fridays, and take the fish on Sunday and say, we did not catch the fish, they came themselves. So are you trying to deceive Allah? So the lesson here is that Allah cannot be deceived. And this is a lesson for the righteous people. And recall when Musa said to his people, indeed, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. They said, do you take us in ridicule? He said, I seek refuge in Allah from being among the ignorant. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِ This is the second time of two that this is mentioned. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ That comes from أَمَرَ means to order and تَذْبَحُ ذَبَحَ to slaughter a cow. بَقَرَ is a cow and that's the name of the surah. قَالُوا أَتَتَّخِذُنَا هُزُوَ This here means ridicule. قَالَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْجَاهِلِينَ I seek refuge, so أَعُوذُ is to seek, I seek refuge, بِاللَّهِ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْجَاهِلِينَ Jahilin is, jahala is uh, uh, to, to not, not know, so it means the ignorant. So because they loved the cow so much and they, were, they worshipped a calf, Allah tested them here. He ordered them to slaughter a cow so that their faith would be purified and they would submit to him. So tests are for the purpose of purifying our faith. They said, call upon your Lord to make clear to us what it is. Musa said, Allah says it is a cow which is neither old nor virgin, but median between that. So do what you are commanded. So Udur comes from da'wa, that means to call. Rabbaka, your Lord. Yubayyillana, that's from bayana, means to clear. Mahiya. قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةً He says it is a cow. قَالَ and يَقُولُ That's from قَوَلَ And بَقَرَ is a cow. لَا فَارِضٌ وَلَا بِكْرٌ means neither old nor, nor virgin. عَوَانٌ بَيْنَ ذَلِكْ Median between the two, between that. فَفَعَلُوا So do what you are commanded. مَا تُؤْمَرُونَ أَمَرَ means commanded. They said, call upon your Lord to show us what it, 
what is its color? He said, he says it is a yellow cow, bright in color, pleasing to the observers. قَالُوا دَعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكُ One more time here. So this is mentioned three times here. قَالُوا دَعُوا لَنَا That's from da'wa. And Rabbak, your Lord, you bayin to clear مَا لَوْنُهَا What is the color? قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ He says that it is a yellow cow. بَقَرَةٌ صَفْرَ uh, Bright in color. فَاقِعُ لَوْنُهَا تَسُرُّ النَّاظِرِينَ سَرَرَ means to please. And نَظِرِين نَظَرَ is to look. So pleasing to the observers. They said, call upon your Lord to make clear to us what it is. Indeed, all cows look alike to us. And indeed, if, and indeed we, if Allah wills, will be guided. قَالُوا دَعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكُ One more time, they said, call your Lord for us to make clear. يُبَيِّنْ لَنَا مَا هِيَ إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَهَ عَلَيْنَا All the cows look, so shabaha means to look alike. And baqar is the plural of baqara. وَإِنَّ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَمُهْتَدُونَ So this time they said, إِنْشَاءَ اللَّهُ مُهْتَدُونَ That's from Hadaya means will be guided. He said, He says it is a cow, neither trained to plow the earth nor to irrigate the field, one free from fault with no spot upon it. They said, Now you have come with the truth. So they slaughtered it, but they could hardly do it. So he said, come from Qawala, Naha Bakarat is a cow. لا ذلول تثير الأرض ولا تسقي الحرث مسلمة so مسلمة سلمة uh, free from fault with no spot لا شيء فيها قالوا الآن جئت الآن that means now جئت that's from جاء means to come بالحق with the truth فذبحوها ذبح means to slaughter وما كادوا يفعلون that's from فعل they could hardly do it so Musa brought the truth the first time, but because they did not want to follow the order, it did not appear to be clear to them. So they kept asking questions until it became very difficult for them, and it was hard to find a cow that fits all of these characteristics and descriptions. They could have just slaughtered any cow without asking all these questions. So this is a lesson for us to avoid excessive arguing and questions that will not lead us anywhere because they just make our lives difficult. So the story is that there was a man who was killed and there were many accusations about who killed him. When they striked his dead body with parts of the cow, he spoke the name of the murderer. This was a miracle that Allah showed the children of Israel when they finally followed his command and did as they are told. So the story is mentioned here in the next two ayahs. And recall when you slew a man and disputed over it, but Allah was to bring out what which you were concealing. وَإِذْ قَتَلْتُمْ So that comes from قَتَلَ means to kill. نَفْسًا That's a, a man or a, a soul. فَدَّرَأْتُمْ so Means to dispute. فِيهَا وَاللَّهُ مُخْرِجْ That comes from خَرَجَ Means will bring out. مَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْتُمُونَ That comes from كَتَمَ Means to conceal. So we said, strike him, that is the slain man, with part of it. Thus does Allah bring the dead to life, and he shows you his signs that you might reason. فَقُلْنَا We, we said, اِضْرِبُوهُ That's strike, بِبَعْضِهَا That's parts of the cow. كَذَلِكَ يُحْيِي Means to bring to life. يُحْيِي اللَّهُ الْمَوْتَ Those are the dead. وَيُرِيكُمْ Ra'aya means to see, so yurik means to show you. Ayatihi, his signs. La'allakum ta'qilun. Aqala means to reason or to understand. So ayati, we know the word ayat, means his signs. Then your hearts became hardened after that, being like stones or even harder. For indeed, there are stones from which rivers burst forth. And there are some of them that split open and water comes out. And there are some of them that fall down for fear of Allah. And Allah is not unaware of what you do. ثُمَّ قَسَتْ That comes from قَسَيَ قُلُوبُكُمْ That's the plural of قَلْبِ Means hearts. 
min ba'di dhalika fa hiya kal hijara so remember uh, when Musa uh, strike the stone with his staff so that was hajar so hijara that's the same hijara means stone aw ashaddu qaswa so that's the same word with as qasa it means harden wa inna min al hijara so we know hijara now it means stone لما يتفجر منه الأنهار أنهار we, that is repeated a lot in the Quran means rivers so nahr is the river وإن منها لما يشقق so شقق means to split open so uh, the word شقيق is a brother it means because they come from the same parents so that uh, means to, they split from the same parents فيخرج so means خرج uh, to come out and ma is water. Inna minha lama yahbit means to go down, means to fall down. Khashya, so khashya is to fear from f- the fear of Allah. Wa Allahu bi ghafilin amma ta'malun. So Allah is not unaware. Ghafala is to be unaware. Amma ta'malun means to do. Okay, so some of the uh, unique and similar ayahs, you'll find that more in the PDF. I'll just go over that very quick. Um, we said, وَيَقْتُلُونَ النَّبِينَ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ So you'll see here where it was mentioned, بِغَيْرِ حَقِّ بِغَيْرِ حَقِّ And then there was Nabiin, there's Anbiya in other surahs. Here in Surah Al-Baqarah, we said we have a Nasara first, before Al-Sabi'een. Here in Ma'ida, there's a Sabi'oon first, and it comes Sabi'oon. And then Al-Hajj Al-Sabi'in. And those are the ayahs of the covenants, the ayat al-mawathiq. So we mentioned this one, وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِثَاقَكُمْ وَرَفَعْنَا فَوْقَكُمُ الطُّورِ There are three more in Surah Al-Baqarah. وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى This was the second time. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ This is the second time. قَالُوا دُعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكْ Three times here in Surah Al-Baqarah. قَالُوا so there are three qalu that are qalu du'u lana rabbak and one more that is qalu subhanak and those are the beginning of four ayahs in surah al-baqarah and then inna alladhina amanu there is um there are three mentionings of inna alladhina amanu so we mentioned one of them today